In this video, a nurse will understand the various aspects of tracheostomy, steps of procedure, equipment required, aftercare, and most importantly, what to do when things go wrong. In other words, common clinical errors. Tracheostomy is a surgical procedure which consists of making an incision on the anterior aspect of the neck and opening a direct airway through an incision in the trachea, usually between second and third ring of cartilage. The resulting stoma can serve independently as an airway or as a site for tracheal tube or tracheostomy tube to be inserted. These tubes allow a person to breathe without the use of nose or mouth. Purposes of tracheostomy care First, to maintain the airway patency. Second, to prevent infection at tracheostomy site. Third, to facilitate healing and prevent skin escoration around the tracheostomy site. Fourth, to promote comfort. Fifth, to assess the condition of stoma. Check the ICU flow sheet or doctor progress sheet. Tracheostomy care should be done once in a day or whenever it gets soiled. Enter the patient room. Introduce yourself to the patient. Hello, good morning sir. My name is Priya. I'm your assigned staff nurse from ATM to TPM. May I check your wristband? Okay. Check the patient's identification. Always follow 5 movements of hand hygiene. Explain the procedure to the patient. Even if the patient is unconscious, explain the procedure to the patient as the subconscious mind of patient is awake. Thank you, sir. Sir, I need to provide the tracheostomy site cleaning such that to prevent you from the infection. So I will prepare my articles and will come back within few minutes. Okay, sir. Check the vital parameters and also check that there are two new tracheostomy tubes present at the patient bedside. One of the same size and another one of small size to be used in case of any emergency. Arrange the articles. Equipment required. A clean tray containing. Track collar with keyhole foam dressing. Cuff pressure manometer. Normal saline solution. 20 or 50 ml syringe with 18 or 16 gauze needle, one pair of sterile gloves, one pair of clean gloves, sterile gauze piece packet, bag mask, a sterile tray containing drape sheet. Artery forcep, thumb forcep, bowel, kidney tray. Give semi forward position to the patient unless it is contraindicated. Perform hand hygiene. Check the TT cuff pressure with the help of a cuff pressure manometer. Normal cuff pressure is 20 to 32 cm of H2O. Perform hand hygiene. Wear clean gloves.
Remove the old dressing and assistant will hold the kiosni tube flanges. Disconnect the patient from the ventilator and give pre-oxygenation for 30 seconds that is 6 breath in 5 cycles and again connect the patient to the ventilator. The assigned nurse will hold the flanges of tracheostomy tube. Till then, the assistant nurse will open the first flap of sterile tray and sterile gloves. Now, the assistant will hold the flanges of tracheostomy tube and assigned nurse will remove the clean gloves. And do hand rub. and wear sterile gloves. The assigned nurse will open the other flaps of sterile tray by maintaining the aseptic technique. And will spread the drape sheet in the neck area of the patient to prevent the soiling. Now, the assigned nurse will hold the flanges of the tube and the assistant nurse will pour the normal saline in a bowl. Thank you.
Again, now assistant will hold the flanges of tracheostomy tube. The assigned nurse will start the cleaning of tracheostomy tube. By dipping the sterile gauge pieces in normal saline. Squeeze it. And clean the forest tracheostomy area in C shape. And discard used gauge piece. Again, take another gauge piece. Dip in normal saline. Squeeze it. And clean the forest track collar area from inner to outer. And discard it. Use a separate gauge piece and normal saline for each stroke. During the procedure, keep your eye on the vital parameters. Try this stoma site. And track follow area in same manner with the help of sterile gauge piece. Remove the drape sheet. and apply the new track collar with the foam dressing. Track collar should neither be too tight or too loose. Recheck the cuff pressure through the cuff pressure manometer.
after care. Monitor the post procedure vital sign. Discard the waste according to BMW policy and replace the articles. Perform hand hygiene. Document the procedure in nurse's note, stoma color, client breathing status before and after. Common errors Improper joining of sterile gloves lead to risk of infection. Oxygenation not done, which can lead to hypoxia. Aseptic technique not maintained while doing the procedure. Key points to remember Maintain your vigilance on cardiac monitor or saturation level throughout the procedure. Tracheostomy care should be done once in a day or whenever it gets soiled. Do not forget to pre-oxygenate the patient. If the patient goes in hypoxia during tracheostomy care, then immediately stop the procedure and start back mask ventilation. Through this video, you have had the opportunity to learn the latest practical clinical skills used by healthcare professionals for providing the highest level of patient care and satisfaction. For more clinical videos, please visit our website at www.vidyanta.com. Thank you.